ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to hit some garage sales. Morning, how are you? All right. All right. Well, I'm glad you came back. I saw you go by last night. You did? I think so. I wasn't out this way yesterday. Oh, all right. <laughs> I was out in Kentucky well, yesterday. Else. Yeah. Yeah, I went searching over in Kentucky yesterday. Jordan Rock Hunter? Hmm. That's cool. What's up, man? How much are you asking on this old wrapping paper? Um, they're a quarter of a thing. A quarter of a thing. Yeah. How many do you have there? I have no idea. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> Seven. I don't really want to know. Eight. Nine. Ten. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Okay. Three bucks. Mm-hmm. All right. somebody would like that special stuff yeah that's pretty cool man it is yeah i like them jordan my ones my grandkids too. grew up though so they don't appreciate it anymore <laughs> i like old stuff like this yeah. this one i grew up in the 90s so uh-huh Oh, yeah. 
cardboard box. Did you just start out today? Yeah. Yeah, same here. Yesterday, you go yeah, I did all right, man, but could have been better. <laughs> Like Florence and went up that way. Okay, that's what I did too. I started down in Florence and just did you? Yeah. Seen your Instagram story, them jerseys? Yeah. I was there. Were you? And all his stuff was shut off. Like he didn't have his stuff open yet. Oh, Nobody really? was there when I got Damn. there. I was like, man, Dude. that stuff looks good, but it was all closed Dude, off. That that um
There's some other ones in there, but those, those were the text. Okay. How about, um, no. How much were you wanting on them Legos? 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's 
five for this game. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Good luck on your adventures. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. How much are the games? Uh, oh my gosh, just a dollar. Dollar? Somebody took my exercise, so. Yep, you waited too long. Ah, that's okay. Yep, we already discussed it. Let it go if they want. Okay. You see what else you got here. Are you selling the ladder? How much you got no, on it? No, no. Uh, and how much are your ropes? Rugs, I got the prices on it. One oh. ten, how much? Ten, one ten and one eight. Yeah, that's... You yeah. got you got ten on this one? Ten on the big one and eight on the little one. All right, I'll take this one. Okay. Yeah, not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, I'll just sit it out here and then I'll let me go. Oh, that's okay. Then I'm gonna look look around a little more. Will you go ahead and take five on this? Yes. Okay. So that's fifteen. What do you got on the ladder? You should I ask you that? Yeah, that's not the same. Okay, all right. Okay, that's good. Good that you got one for yourself, right? Yeah. And what is this kind of light it says? You go over a bar, don't it? That's for, uh, like a... Morgan, what's this for? Your lizard? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Isn't that what that light is? Yeah, yeah. This for a reptile. Yep. And then what, is that part of it down there? Probably so. Yeah. I don't know what... I, you know, I sell stuff. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. So I don't know what. Uh, let me just sit this here. We 
I'm don't let me forget. Okay. They like that the walk. Yeah, it's nice, but they like that the walk. Yeah, they do. You know, they come down. I don't, I don't think, see, I retail, I don't think I can do it. Yeah, I don't think I can do it. I mean, what's the best he can do on that? They like to walk. I wish they didn't, but they do. And it is a good piece of equipment. You got nice stuff. The best you could do on Mr. T? Yeah, so take, I'll take 35. 35, okay. I'm ready to cash out. Okay, you don't want Mr. T? Uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me just real Ooh, quick. What see if my common word? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> okay, right. right. <laughs> let me, um, <laughs> that means no. <laughs> eh, not I'm all not the time. Bust your bubble, but that's what it means. Okay, but that's all right. Got five games. I got five games. I can wait. Because I can't find you. How much you want for the drill? He said 30 is too much. What would you take? He said they like the walk. They don't like press. Yeah, they, they really. He's the one that sells, yeah. resells things. Okay, all right, bye. Okay, all right. Right, he said 25. Okay, now, I'm sorry, how much? I got five games, a controller. This was a dollar, I had yeah, seen it somewhere. Six, six, and then this. Nine, this, ten, nine bu bucks. ten bucks. Ten yeah, bucks. Yeah, if you want to give me two, I'll take it. <laughs> Make it easy. Not take that much money. There you go. Thank you. Yes, okay, it goes over a bit. How you doing, Dad? Pretty good, man. How are you? Pretty good. Good. Maybe about 15 or 20. You guys have any old video games or action figures, records? Uh, uh, no. Okay. Yeah, I bet. Bad as color art. What is that, body cam? Yeah, I go around and film my uh, yard sale adventures. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. 
Yeah. Some other, that other kid had one on. Oh, he did? Yeah, that guy was looking at the pool stick. Oh. Yeah, I know that he had one of them The on. tall guy with a backpack? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. one of my buddies. He does the same thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How much you want for these two things? Um, how about six bucks. Six bucks? About three bucks. That's what I was thinking. Three bucks? Well, she's got five on that bag. Oh, does she? Yeah, that's a feel of it. And I want a dollar for my little boss. Okay. What do you want on this? Most of it's already colored though. Yeah. It's cool though. Yeah, probably a dollar. All right. It's neat. Look, I'm not reading saw that. What is that? Yeah, it's a big coloring book. Oh yeah. I'm not reading that book. 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 I'm not reading you guys have a good day. Thank you, man. All right, guys, it's time to do that uh, giveaway that we had on uh, last week's Saturday video. I know I came out with a video on Wednesday, but I wanted to give it a week. To let the comments add up and give everybody a shot. So we're going to go. Here's the video. We end up getting 405 likes. There's a bunch of comments on here. I appreciate you guys checking out the video and commenting. It's good to uh, hear from people that you don't usually see comment. I know not everybody comments. I don't comment on everybody's videos either. But I appreciate the support. I'm gonna copy this link here. And we're going to copy the link here. Paste. We're going to filter duplicate users. And it was just any comment, so we don't need to filter comments. There's 236 comments all together. And I guess this is where you do it at. Start raffle and pick random winner. Good luck. The winner is Curtis Witten. Love the video intro. The stack of vinyl is awesome. All right, Chris Curtis Witten. What I need you to do, my email address will be in the description. I need you to send me an email, and I will uh, send you like a code or something to post in the comments to uh, make sure you're that person. So uh, hit me up on my email. It's in the description. Congratulations. What's up, guys? Shad Juice here. We're back with, uh, it was day two of the 127 World's Longest Yard Sale. Um, I stayed out for probably about three to four hours a day. Just taking my time, took a little lunch in between. Um, didn't go crazy today, but uh, we found some cool stuff. So, let's get into it. Uh, one of the first sales, uh, one of the first sale I had on video, I got these, uh, vintage like gift wrap got a bunch of jordan ones i think there's like eight michael jordan ones which is cool probably got a lot of them together should at least 20 dollars easy on those 
There's one Sesame Street, a Star Wars, and a couple Scooby Doo's. Uh, Scooby Doo was dated 1990. I don't know if the Jordan one had a date on it or not. There's plenty of these that have been listed and sold on eBay. So, go sell them. Like I said, I'll at least get $20 plus shipping on those. Also at that sale, we got this uh, Neo Shifters by Mega Blocks. Uh, this one is not listed right now. There was one sold for 24 free shipping. But I'm gonna ask more on this plus shipping since it's all, it will be the only one on there. We'll see what happens. We got that. I think I paid two for that. I paid five bucks for this uh, Pac-Man plug and play. This is at least a $25 one plus shipping. Pretty cool. I like the way this one looks a lot. Uh, what else did we get there? I got a micro cassette recorder. It's a GE one. I don't think it takes batteries. You got to have a plug, which kind of stinks. They're not worth very much. But I get this little Sony three pack with it. So maybe I can get 15 bucks plus shipping out of it. We'll see. Then we got this uh, SIG component video and audio to HDMI converter. See the original price is $89.99. Kind of looks like a Microsoft, uh, Micro Center sticker. But uh, the only thing I could find on eBay was a uh, comp. Well, it wasn't a comp. It was a uh, asking price of $59.99 ship plus or free shipping. So I'm going to try to get $49 free shipping and see what happens. See if anybody bites on it. That sale, I got them items. And I got a big box of records. Uh, a lot of them are singles. I think they're like a DJ kind of stuff. But uh, there's a few rap ones there. I haven't went through them all, but I paid 20 bucks for the whole box. If you want to see them at the end of the video, we'll go through them if you want. But we'll keep uh, showing this stuff for now. Uh, this was at a single sale. I didn't get it on. Maybe I did get it on video, I think. It's a Schmidt puzzle. It's an older puzzle. What year was this from? I think it had a, a year on it. 1991. It's brand new. I think that'll go in ballpark uh, 20 to $30 plus shipping. Clean up the plastic. Get that uh, marker off of there. I uh, went to this uh, older couple sale and they had uh, some cool vintage stuff. They had this vintage like uh, Lucy from uh, Peanuts. Is, uh, it's like a jelly jar. It's from 1952, but it's not worth much. There ain't any solds. There's a couple listed for like 15 bucks. So I thought it might have had some value, but I guess not. I got these other two other old. Uh, glasses if anybody knows anything about these let me know but it's got like little children rhymes on it like little boy blue and this one's got a ring around the rosy on it i just thought they were neat maybe i could sell both of those together what else did i pick up at that sale got this uh adidas cologne for a quarter i'll probably keep that i've had that before we got an old uh craftsman handy cut It's got a blade, but then it's got like a plastic block, so you ain't going, so you can cut stuff. So that's pretty cool. It goes for about 15 bucks. Nothing crazy. Got this old like plumber's wrench. I don't see any markings on it, but I just—it was a dollar and it was old, so I grabbed it. All right. At another sale, picked up this electronic Stratego, which just goes for. I'd say in between 80 to 100 bucks. Um, it seems like it's all in there. Let me open it real quick. It's all bagged up, seems to be in good condition. Hopefully, all the pieces are there. It's got some batteries in here, but I don't think they went with it. 
least they're not corroded in there. That's the main thing. Toss them in the garbage. So, yeah, that was a good deal for five bucks. That sale, they had a lot of music going. I think, yeah, I had it on video. I probably had to cut the video out, maybe. But uh, yeah, that was pretty neat. Uh, this goes with another sale here. And another sale picked up these like cobalt. Uh, they're like crank wrenches or something. I don't know exactly the name of these, but pretty neat. Let's crank them. You hit that button. Bam. Paid a buck a piece for them. So just going to keep those and we'll come in handy. So our little sale, I picked up uh, Lord of the Rings, Two Towers, Special Extended DVD. Not sure how much that's worth. Also picked up this little Claiborne uh, Men's Travel Cologne. It was brand new. It's got Claiborne Cologne Spray, Curve, and Claiborne Sport. Not sure how much that goes for. This is probably my coolest find today. I really like this a lot. If you never heard of uh, Battle Beast, one of my buddies, uh, Matt Retail, he found a bunch of them at a thrift store in a bag and he made hundreds of dollars off of them. They're like these little figures. They're really neat. This is an old vintage coloring book. It's from 1988. The only bad part is, is a lot of the pages are colored in, but they're not scribbled on. They were, actually did a really good job coloring. So I love this thing, man. It's pretty rare. There's none listed on eBay. I know there's some worth point listings. Maybe I can have somebody look that up for me. See, that page ain't done, but this one is. Like I said, like they look good. At least the coloring is not horrible. I just thought this was a really cool find. I've never seen this before. That one's not colored in. thought that they did a really good job of color there's another one so what's that three he didn't finish that one four pages that one's really neat like i said i don't know if there's any pages missing or anything they don't have numbers on them or nothing but yeah i thought that was a cool find i'm sure it's worth some money See their 1988 Hasbro. Also at that same sale, they had these. Now these are worth good money too. If you didn't know, these are called uh, what the hell's the name? Freak balls. This is a soccer scum ball series one number three. So this was the first series of them. In the package, they usually go for 50, 45, 50 bucks. Not sure how much this one is, but a guaranteed at least twenty dollars. It's super light. So. Really cool, man. I love finding vintage toys and stuff. So I paid two bucks for those two. I'm happy with them. Really neat stuff. Uh, at another sale, I was surprised they had some video game stuff, but they had a Fitbit. I'm pretty sure it's an older model. I don't know if it's worth anything or not, but it had all the bands and stuff, so I just bought it for three bucks. Got a little charger in there, too. And then uh, had these Liberty Sport uh, like goggles, like sport goggles. So slam goggle, extra large. And these might go for 20, 25 bucks from what I was saying. And then actually had some Wii games sitting out. Um, had a Wiimote, Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort. These cases are a little dirty and stuff, but that was complete. Family Game Night 3, Tar Hair, like look at all that dirt, but that'll clean right off. It ain't a big deal. We're able to switch cases. And Mario Bros. It's got some scratches on it, it'll work. So we got them five games, the Wiimote, the glasses, and the Fitbit stuff for 10 bucks. So not a bad deal. And I did stop a Goodwill on the way home. They had this in a dollar bin, old uh, Days of Thunder, Hardy's car. I love that movie. I love the die cast. I know I already have it, but I couldn't leave it there for a dollar. 
any of you guys uh, big days of Thunder fans, let me know in the comments. My fa I loved all the cars, with the City car and the Melly Yellow are definitely my favorites. So, really love that movie. Picked up a Beachbody Insanity. It's complete. I think I paid uh, two, or I think I paid three dollars for that, or maybe she charged me for it as a CD. I don't, I'm not sure, but that should go for good money. We got this uh, double feature. We got a uh, Maximum Overdrive by Stephen King and Raw Deal by Arnold Schwarzenegger. This goes for twenty twenty five dollars, so pretty good pickup. Might have to check out the movies. I don't think I've watched either one of them, so. That's gonna do it. Uh, I gotta show these records if you want to keep watching, guys. If not, oh, hold on. I have one more thing in here I didn't show. Uh, this was from the sale where I got the uh, these records at. Got this three pack of 50, 564 XL black ink. It's not worth too much. I'd say twenty twenty five dollars shipped. But let's get into these records. Um, I'll try to go through them kind of quick. We got a uh, crisscross tonight's night master ace the ink ride well, that's the only song i know by them but jet stream it's just chill hip-hop so i guess it's recorded uh that wasn't nothing important ymc it made by youth symphonic band and the village voices like i said there's a lot of garbage in here probably outcast soul sunday and Miss Jackson on there. Get a few out of here so we can just flip through them. Sheila, Sister Fate. Venture. I don't think it's the right album in there. We got uh, So Many Men, So Little Time by Miguel Brown. Bill Wolfer. Edwin Hawkins, Imagine Heaven. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff in here. I don't know what it is exactly. Got the Village People, Can't Stop the Music. Collapse of Time with the Mighty Sparrow. <laughs> Barry Manilow 2. Testify from the Sounds of Blackness. Let's see Johnny Gill. Ultimix Inc. Oh, not in there. I think a few of them are empty. And a few of these are empty. Billy Mitchell faces. Like I said, there's not I don't think there's nothing too great in here myself. I did like promo singles. Probably should turn them around. Sorry guys, this is a crap show here at the end. <laughs> That's what you hung in for, the crap show, right? Make it in life, featuring Aaliyah. Got Craig Mack making moves. I wonder if it's got flavor in there. Nope. Marley Mall the remix. Dina Howard. Yeah, there's nothing crazy in here, I don't think. Curtis Blow, The Breaks. That's a good one. There's two of those. Whitney Houston. Uh, truth That. It's like a lot of R&B and soul. A little bit of rap. Quincy Jones. Eric B. and Rakim. Das effects, real hip hop, too damn funky, <laughs> brand Nubian, in too deep, cool G rap, Quincy Jones, Jay Z, Jigga, the Beat Nuts, Empty, DJ Cool, hey, Cool they had like a Tupac single or something there. But West Side Story, a couple of those. Yeah, like I said, there's nothing crazy in here. Not that I know of. You never know until you sit and look them up.
irons in the fire. Pebbles. Inner city blues. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Like, nothing crazy in there. So, uh, if you stayed around and watched the whole video, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We're going to go hit out some of them tomorrow. I don't know where I'm going to go yet, but uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.